Okay, this is the unboxing of the Beats Studio Buds Plus. So here's a first look of the transparent design. Comes with USB-C. Your different tips, QR code for the product guide, I'm take that out, get this right here, and then Get the beat sticker. So the beat sticker's in there, that's what you get in there, and just a bunch of other stuff. So here's the case itself. And this is compatible with T Apple TV, iPhone, iPad, and Android. So this is compatible with Android phones, it has quick print for Android phones, quick print for iPhones, quick print iPad, Apple TV. It doesn't have the H1 chip, but it does have its own Beats proprietary chip generation two. And it's, you can still use it to find my on the iPhone and find my device on Android as well. So it's very compatible with both. And sadly it does not come with wireless charging, which is sad, but it does have USB-C charging, which is good. So. Let's look at this. You saw the unboxing, the Beat Studio Buds Plus. So these headphones are very lightweight. They are nice in the hands. Very good comfort level. You know, it's pocketable. Nice transparent design. Battery life lasts up to, uh, what is it, six hours with ANC? I think nine without it. You get up to 36 battery or 36 hours with the case pretty good here's how it looks in the hand very tiny i do like the fit compared to the airpod pro 2 generation airpod pros 2 second generation i'm not gonna say airpod pro 2s uh the fit for this is more snug i think it's better than the airpod pro 2s to be honest uh, when it comes to fit when it comes to like staying in your ear during your runs during your workouts you know this feels more secure than the airpod pro second generation now, when it comes to AirPod Pro 2 second generation, the fit is more comfortable. You can like sleep on it, on the pillow and stuff, it won't hurt. The very lightweight design, very lightweight in general. So compared to the Beats Pl Studio Buds Plus, when it, if you're one of those people who like sleep with your headphones on bedside like that, AirPod Pro's definitely better for that. But when it comes to the fit and staying in your ear. So this is the Beats Studio Buds Plus outside. It's the microphone sounds with light traffic around me, birds chirping, blah blah blah. Done. Run with it. Come here, Loki. Gonna run with it. You see, they don't fall out. Now run again. Stays in the ear. Not bad. So those are the AirPod Pros. I mean, I'm not running with them, but I've done a video before with the running test and all, but it doesn't really fall out. But these feel a little less secure. I feel like these would fall out if I'm sweating more than the Beats Pit or Beats Studio Buzz Plus. Here's the mic quality in a car, basically. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of the sound quality. Roll down the window. Well, let me turn the car on. And then I can roll down the window. This is how it sounds with the window rolled down. This is Loki tearing up paper towels. Loki, say hi. Okay. Yeah, so let me know what you think of the mic quality test of the AirPod Pro second generation compared to the Beat Studio Buds Plus. So quick update. I'm trying to play the Beat Studio Buds Plus my watch. It's connected. Oh wait. 
it's connected but it's it's not working i'm hearing no sounds so this is an issue and this is with spotify and i have premium so i don't know what's going on so i might have to use airpod pros second gen or just carry my phone with me unfortunately pretty whack just got down on the air let's do these two the pods plus i'm more comfortable with these and the airpod pro 2 right here definitely never feels like it's gonna fall out so fit goes to the beat studio plus plus easily i feel like these are better with the airpod pros i have to buy wink separate wing tips to ensure security in my ear when I'm running and doing physical activity and stuff like that. So when it comes to the fit for working out, the Beat Studio Buds Plus are definitely better. When it comes to overall comfort, I do have to give it to the AirPod Pros. So when it comes to battery life, they are about the same like I mentioned before. The AirPod Pros, you're definitely getting about the same amount of uh, battery life with ANC turned on. Um, what I do like about the AirPod Pros is that there's wireless charging with MagSafe as well. So the Beat Studio Buzz Plus do not have wireless charging. It does not work. So here's an example of the Beat Studio Buzz Plus not having wireless charging. So yeah, it doesn't work. No MagSafe charging. None of that. So it's unfortunate at 169 that it doesn't do that. And for 169, I feel like in 2023, every like headphones case should have wireless charging. You don't see a coil in here at all for wireless charging. So even the case will tell you, the transparent will tell you it does not have wireless charging involved in its design. So that kind of sucks. For 169 in 2023, especially with these being Beats headphones, something that's made by Apple, wireless charging it should be a no-brainer in today's generation. Everything's like wireless these days. So not including that is a miss for the Beat Studio Buds Plus, but it still has USB-C proprietary charging, which is nice because USB-C is going to be on everything, including the upcoming iPhone 15 models. So that's nice, but, and the AirPod Pro still use Lightning, but hopefully the AirPod Pro third generation utilize USB-C. Hopefully Apple just utilizes USB-C from now on and just gets rid of their Lightning uh, cable totally. So with that being said, when it comes to charging in the battery case, the AirPod Pros are definitely better. Uh, when it comes to Find Mind, the AirPod Pros uh, case, the second generation case, do chime. These do not chime. I mean, the headphones chime, but the case will not chime. So when it comes to Find My, you do have more of a, more features. You'll be able to find your case if it's missing. But when it comes to the Beat Studio Buds Plus, if the case is missing, the case won't make a sound or anything like that. So when it comes to the software features with Find My, AirPod Pros, again, are better for that because it just has more features, just a little bit. It won't have the direction finding stuff like the AirPod Pros do with the H1 chip because these have the Beats proprietary chip, I don't think you can utilize the software in the Find My where it kind of tells you where to find it. You're like two feet away in this direction, yada, yada. So I don't think the Beats Studio Buds Plus have that feature enabled. I'll try to show you a clip here to see if it's there, but it's from what I've seen and read from other reviews, it's not there. And I'm gonna look for myself and include a clip to show you that it's probably not there. So not a deal breaker if you don't care about like the Find My features for the headphones. So keep that in mind if you are debating between these two earbuds. So we talked about battery life. Now we're gonna talk about mic quality and I'll show you a clip right now showing you the mic quality, comparing it to the AirPod Pros and the Beast Studio Buds Plus. Okay, so we're gonna do a mic test. AirPod Pros. Oops, there we go. AirPod Pros, second generation mic test. Gonna open the memo app and record. This is a microphone test of the AirPod Pros 2, second generation. This is a mic test. Let me know what you think of the sound quality of the mic on the AirPod Pros 2. We're gonna compare it to the Beat Studio Plus right now. Now we are putting on the Beat Studio Buds Plus. Put it in here. Really gonna miss, miss this snug fit. All right, so little animation right there. Let's connect to the B Studio Buds Plus. All right. Anyway, 
This is a sound recording of the Beat Studio Buds Plus. This is a recording of the Beat Studio Plus. Let me know what you think in the comments below. How it sounds compared to the AirPods Pro 2, second generation. Here, that's redundant. Excuse me, second generation. The AirPods second generation. Let me know what you think of the sound quality of these earbuds in the comments below. Is it better than the AirPods? Is it not better than the AirPods? What do you think? Let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the mic quality test between the Beat Studio Buds Plus and the AirPod Pros. So sound quality wise, I do prefer the AirPod Pros and it's because the sound clarity is better. Both have balanced sound. Both do not have money base. Both do a very good job of um, having a decent sound stage with the AirPod Pros having a better sound stage. Now I don't think what they did tell you is they said it supports spatial audio in Dolby Atmos. And yeah, it probably does if you're using Apple Music, but uh, the AirPod Pros actually has spatial audio for like everything. So if you go and toggle the control center and a long press on the AirPod Pros uh, bar, you'll see spatial audio is always an option. You can always have it there for a fixed audio, a spatial audio experience or a head tracking facial, spatial audio, spatial audio, spatial audio experience. The B Studio Buds Plus, there is no option for spatial audio talking on and off. For me, I'm able to use spatial audio even on Spotify because it's just an AirPod Pro second generation feature as opposed to the B Studio Buds Plus being compatible with Dolby Atmos on Apple Music and then having that spatial audio experience just on Apple Music. So I think you need Apple Music to utilize the spatial audio with Beat Studio Buds Plus. I haven't tried it on Apple TV yet, per se, if it has spatial audio on there, but I think the head tracking experience is gonna have to go to the AirPod Pros because I don't think the Beat Studio Buds Plus have that feature because they don't have it enabled on the phone. Like you can't turn it on or off on the phone uh, compared to the AirPod Pros, which you can. So when it comes to spatial audio experience, don't let them fool you with the Beat Studio Buds Plus. It's only for Apple Music, I feel like, and if you're trying to use it for anything else, it, it won't work. So spatial audio experience definitely goes to AirPod Pros, hands down. And sound quality wise, AirPod Pros have better clarity, uh, more balanced bass. The Beat Studio Buds Plus do have more bass, it's, and it's balanced, but it has more bass than AirPod Pros just by a little bit. So if you like and prefer your bass, and if that's a deal breaker for you, just having that little bitty extra bass from the Beat Studio Buds Plus, then go for that. Otherwise, I think the sound is overall the same with the AirPod Pros having a bit more clarity in the sound experience. Like I said before, you can work out in these and they both are IP68 rated. So both should be fine if you're a heavy sweater like me. Uh, when it comes to working out in the water resistant, both have the same uh, ratings with IP68. Let me know in the comments below which one you are getting. Are you getting the Beats Studio Buds Plus or the AirPod Pros? Uh, I will include another clip where I talk about, after unboxing, what I think about the AirPod Pros and Beats Studio Buds Plus. This video is kind of everywhere because I had different clips I was trying to finish here and there. So I have a couple of clips that should have went with the first take of the video and now this is a new take of me doing the same review in a different way, trying to make it a little more quicker. So I might include that clip, I'm not, I'm not sure. But overall, this is the final clip and the summary of the B-Studio Buds, Buds Plus overall. And I'm comparing to the AirPod Pros too, because I'm sure everybody's debating if they want the AirPod Pros too, or they wanna save a little bit of money and get the B-Studio Buds Plus, even though it is lacking features like wireless charging, uh, spatial audio on all apps basically, and the head tracking feature. Um, the direction finding on Find My, and I think it's about it. Oh, and the automatic headphone switching. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, these do not turn off the sound when you are taking them out of your ear. So you can use them in mono mode, but if you are taking it out of your ear, there's no automatic ear detection, which I think should be uh, something all headphones include, especially at this price point. There's no uh, detection of it being in your ear. So that's kind of lame, if you ask me. So yeah, with that being a huge thing, I mean, that's huge. That could save you battery life right there if it's not turning off the music and you take it out of the ear. So keep that in mind as well. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this comparison, the review, what could I do better? What do you wanna see next from me? And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon, stay tuned for more videos from me if you like content and my style of reviews. Take care, stay safe, peace.